what, what year did you become a part of the Country Road? Well, we were appointed there in the year 1980, no sorry, 1968. Okay. Uh, about October, yeah? Yes, I am there October, the first Sunday in October. 1968. As pastor? As pastor, okay. yes. The overseer then was Brother uh, Lavelle, Lavelle Hawkins. Was that a national overseer? Was a national overseer, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, Bishop Gums was the district overseer. Okay. Yes, he went down at that time, mm -hmm. but I didn't go down until in December. The children and I went down. Yes. Okay, really. two months later. Yes. Yeah, no. yes. Okay. We, I tell you, we went down on Karen's birthday on the 16th of December. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that. To join him down there. So where were you before then, if you, if you... In Birmingham. Oh, you lived in we, Birmingham? We were in yes. Birmingham, pastor in Birmingham. Oh, okay, what mm -hmm. church was that in Birmingham? No, it is present at the Mansfield Road Church, but okay. it was in Westminster Road. We oh, okay. were in the school room there. All right. Mm -hmm. Good to know. And how many years did you pastor at Tubbs Road? We were there for eight years. Eight years. Yes, nineteen sixty-eight to seventy-six. Okay. Right. Eight okay. years. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Tell me your first. What what one of your first thoughts were, um, when you were asked to pastor Tubbs Road? These are thoughts that you might have had privately, you know, but you can share it with us now. It's gone. Yes. And <laughs> well, it was uh, a challenge. We felt it was a challenge. It was a much larger church than the one we were at in Birmingham. Okay. In Birmingham, it was a church of about 32. Right? Yes. Yes. And then we were going into a church which was over 100. And the truth is, when I got there, if I remember well, it was 116 members. On paper. On paper. <laughs> but um, but they went all there. Okay. And, and um, but as I said, it was a challenge. We were leaving out home. We were pulling up roots. So it was a bit of a challenge. But we went open that the Lord would be with us. Okay. And surely what <laughs> was with us. He worked with us, you know. And we worked with him. Okay. Yes, yes. Do you remember when you had, um, obviously going to start with the, the beginning of your time there. Um, do you remember preparing for your first sermon? Um, uh, <laughs> I can't remember what it was. I can't remember what my first sermon was back then. Um, okay. you know. Was it the first, I mean, what I mean is the first Sunday you were there, did you preach the first Sunday that you were uh, uh, The first you were Sunday, I think so. Yeah. First Sunday I went there, I was asked to. Well, the service was, was delivered to me. Okay. Um, Bishop Douglas, Leonard Douglas, yeah. he was the deacon and he was leading the church okay. at the time because the pastor before me, who was Brother Douglas's brother in law, and Brother Gordon, Pastor Gordon, okay. he had died. And so he was the caretaker. Okay, yes. Okay. And so he handed the service to me, and I think I think I preached. Okay, I <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when, um, like, do you remember when the first, say, baptism service was? How mm. much, how much longer after you were there? And no, I remember it shortly about the year um, during the year. It wasn't the end of the year. We had a revival here. Yeah. Brother, Brother Grant, Grant okay. maybe a year, a year after we were there, remember, mm -hmm. we had a revival, and Brother L.D. Grant, yeah. he was the pastoring at the time in Manchester, Manchester or Bristol, could be Bristol. Um, yes, it was Bristol. Yes, mm -hmm. and he came and he was the evangelist. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we had, we had a baptism of about 15, 16. Okay. It was mm -hmm. quite a yeah, it was quite a revival. Quite a, yeah, amazing, yeah. Yes, it yeah. was it was one tremendous week. Mm, and many were filled. Many were filled. I mean, at least eighteen I remember were filled. Okay. Yes. There were nights there when the Holy Spirit were just and you know, they would be there. You, you, there would be no doubt that you were in the presence of God. Yes. 
there were members there, old members who were saved for years mm -hmm. and were never filled. Okay. And in that revival of my yes. heart, <laughs> <laughs> they really got it, yes. Yeah, you all filled, yes. You could see them there, you know. Awesome. In those days, people used to go down. Yeah. You know, I don't know that they did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, know. well, in these days, um, <laughs> it seemed that some folks are uh, helped down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are helped down, you touch yeah. them. Yeah. But in those days, no, there, was, there, was no, there was no touching. No, right. no. People were down. People were, that was, I mean, those were the days when people were really slain in the spirit. Oh, that's right, right. yes. Right. You yes. know, it was, mm -hmm. uh, I remember one night there was a girl um, who was a daughter of one of the our members. Yeah. And she, I believe the Spirit of God was really working on her, convicting, conviction was upon her mightily. And um, she didn't really want to give up. And she just started walking and around the church, walking on the chairs and the benches and so forth. And all she was saying is, no, 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 no. And you know, we got her and we prayed for her until she surrendered. It was it was as if she was kind of getting off yeah. her head, she you know. Been held back. Yes, yeah. but um, we got her and prayed, and afterwards she calmed down. Oh, and yes, was yes. spirit was mighty. Yes, mighty. yes. Mm. Those, were, those were powerful so, things. Yes. 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 Do you remember um, like um, your first wedding that you did? Yes. It might have been, or? Yes, the first wedding. That I performed, and this was the first wedding I was going to have the, uh, going to be uh, done by me anywhere. Oh. It was Brother Bravo. Oh, Brother Bravo. Yes. Okay, Brother Bravo. Is Brother. he still there? He's still there. Brother and Sister yeah. Bravo yeah. was my yeah. first wedding. Okay. And I and um, uh, I remember that name. That was your first wedding was ever. First or your first wedding ever. ever. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah. I've done. I've done maybe three, four hundred weddings since, but that was the first, first wedding. First and he's still there, he'll be glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he knew that at the time, but he'll be glad to hear that now. And I think the second one, sometime after that, was Brother Taylor, the one who died the other day. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, he, Brother Taylor is either the third, second or third, but Brother Bravo was the first. Brother Bravo was the first, and the second or third. Second and third, or third and second, with brother Golden. You remember Golden? Yes. In um, he's still there. He's on um, he, he, Harley he, Road. He was in um, he was in in Wembley at the time. Yeah. He was in Wembley with Golden and then brother Taylor. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, throughout your eight years um, that you were down by Tubbs Road. Um, do you, uh, who were the deacons under you, like assistant pastors and deacons? Uh, the deacon was, was um, Deacon Douglas, he was a deacon at the time. Okay, so he remained deacon when he was, deacon. yes, he was a deacon. Uh, who else was the minister there? Um, Wellington. Oh yes, Deacon Wellington. Yeah. He was, yes, Deacon Wellington. Uh, was Brother Ellis there? Brother Ellis was, Brother Ellis was there. there, I appointed Brother Ellis as deacon. Okay. I appointed him. And Sister Miller? I, uh, it was under my um, my watch that she uh, was appointed uh, an evangelist. Uh, Sister Williams, uh, she was she was appointed a lay minister. Okay. Now I, I, this was coming towards the end of my tenure there. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was. Uh, As you know, the, the, throughout the forty years, there's been many different pastors. I think in the beginning there was. Quite a quick turnover of pastors. No, um, not really, because the first pastor was uh, Pastor Gordon, as we mentioned. He died, right. and after Pastor Gordon, for the period between his death and um, me coming in, the National Overseer, yeah, Bishop, Bishop Sperlin, Delmar Sperlin, he he took charge of the church. He was he was appointed pastor, or he pastored the church with uh, Deacon Douglas as his assistant. Okay. Because since he, he had other duties, Brother Douglas was the um, main person there. Um, then after that, I was appointed pastor for eight years. 
And after I left then Bishop Powell. Directly after you. Directly, directly after me, yes. Yeah. Bishop Powell. And he was there until Brother James Reed, I think. Mm -hmm. And then after James, then uh, Brother Smith is here now. Yeah. So I, I don't I wouldn't say that there was a lot of no, I mean beforehand, but obviously I think it was a short period when there was a couple of caretakers. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. So right. yeah, that was good. You know, we have a, a room, um, I think I mentioned this to you before. We had a, the downstairs of the main church. Uh -huh. And we've kind of converted up a few of those rooms now. Okay. And uh, there are talks, well it is going to actually happen where we're going to have like, names of integral okay. people of the past, pastors and stuff. So one of the names of it has been told over Pastor Graham. Is it? Um, oh, I, I, I can't say yeah, that. Graham, if, if, if you said it, like, I I heard it. Oh, so yes. just in case it still carries on, <laughs> that it's going to be, um, oh, that it will be the case. Oh. How would you feel knowing that there will be a room that will be named by yourself? I, I don't know. I am a bit of a... Um, <laughs> wordy, maybe. <laughs> but I, I, I don't like... Um, Things being named after me. I would just like to be a servant in the work of the Lord. And I'd, be, I'd be remembered by people. But for monuments, I really don't. Um, no, I don't go in for that. I don't know how you feel. <laughs> well, to I, me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not something that I have given thought to. Right. Really. So, um, it's a plaque. I think it's the name above the door. Um, okay. It will be like a plaque. Just to have a, yeah. say if someone's going to call the name of the room, it'll be like, oh, we're going to go into the... Yeah. To the I see. That's fine. I mean, I, I, as I said, I, I, I wouldn't object. Yeah. We but were thinking of the, 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 the plaster cast with the statue. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't object, but it's not something that I, I would say go crazy over. Yeah. You know, if, um, if folks want to remember me that way, fine, but it is not really. If, the, if it I didn't happen. Definitely, I think it's more an appreciation. If it um, didn't happen, I, I wouldn't, um, it wouldn't be a problem. And if it happened, well, and I'm dead and gone, maybe somebody might ask who was that. <laughs> and that might help to uh, remember that we were there, you know. Um, one, one thing that, I, that we always remember. And V and I we always talk about about this. We had um, a group, a group of young children, the We Spirituals, okay, with yeah. the Ellis's children. Yeah. All the Ellis's children. Um, and Noel. Noel Robinson. Noel Robinson. Yeah, yes. Gary and Karen. Mm -hmm. And I, I think before Brother Taylor Derek. came Derek is he, he, he did something there too, isn't he? Because he played for them as well, yeah. But um, but the We Spirituals was, was the was the group okay. mm -hmm. around London at the time, yes. you know. And they had there were times when they had competitions, yes. especially at convention time. And, yes. and they always won. They always won, yes. Yeah, they always won. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Jacinta? Or what do you know? Who Jacinta. Oh. Jacinta, I don't know if she was. Richards, she was at Tom's Road. Maybe yeah, you yeah. wouldn't know. Was yeah. she an actual name? No, no. no she, she was with us. She she came, she was really from, from um, Reading. 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 Mm -hmm. But she came and she was with us, with us for a few yeah. months. Mm -hmm. I don't months. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm mentioning her, that she took charge of that group, she used to teach them to be spirituals. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. she was their tutor. Oh, very good. The name is still known. I mean, yes. I do remember the name. Yes. yes. Myself. Um, I think she's she emigrated to Canada, okay. but I hear that she's back oh. in District Two now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she may well come down to the service too. Yeah, she knows maybe. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. She'll come down for quite a few people. And I'm sure the we spirituals will be mentioned in this uh, uh, service too. There's been talk of that too, so they will be mentioned. Yes. For sure. It it is good. It is good to see, like Noel. Yeah. You know, he started yeah. there, you know. Mm -hmm. I remember him with his little guitar. A little. Mm -hmm. The guitar was a little bigger than he was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. see him now, you know, yeah. like an established, yeah. almost almost world-renowned musician. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think that's a very good thing. They all were a part, part of that. Mm -hmm. So, what year did you come back to Jamaica? 
But Tubbs Road has always been a part of our lives and our consideration. It was, as I said, the beginning. It was very challenging. But we believe that the Lord worked with us, you know, and um, as a young, we were young in ministry at the time. Yeah. Not not young somebody and working in church, no. but young in ministry in, in taking responsibility. Pastoral work, Pastoral yes. work. Because we started work in, working in church when we were children yes, really. Yes. I grew up and from I was a young teenager, I used to do choirs, used to teach out of the choir, used to teach in Sunday school. So I grew up in the church. Right. And wherever I went, you know, I was in leadership position really. But right. in pastoral, pastoral work. work. Um, we, we, we pastored in Birmingham for two years yes. and then we, we, came, we went on down there for the rest of um, eight years. Mm -hmm. So um, it, was, it was a good learning experience and mm -hmm. to, to see how you know, the Lord helped us dealing with situations and mm -hmm. some situations were not very good. Mm -hmm. But he helped us. Some were mm -hmm. extremely good. Mm -hmm. And um, he helped us. So we just, he just thank him. He, mm -hmm. Tubbs Road helped us to uh, face whatever we had to face in the future. Mm -hmm. and, and between between 68 and, and 76, the eight mm -hmm. years we were there, that was really a, a foundation, yeah. you know, for many of the things that we encountered as we uh, continued in ministry, even up until this time. For those who may see this recording, some of them might now be young in their ministry and will now know of your name. Some would have heard your name, some may now know of your name um, through this recording. What encouragement could you, could you give to them? Well, I believe that um, we need to see young men and young women really taking on, taking up the challenge of going in the service of the Lord. Uh, I am very pleased even to see the present pastor. When we were leaving, he was a pretty young man, uh, young, I don't know whether Tim was... He was mine. But he was a pretty young man. Yeah. He um, himself and and Barrington, um, Nemard. Oh, Nemard. You know Nemard. Yes. 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 They were they were young men who were just uh, learning. And uh, shortly after we left, I mean, well, even before we left, I remember one night we did ask Tim to give an exhortation in church, and it was very good. But after we left, you know, we, we heard of the great strides that they were making, and that, that gave us some, some sense of, at, at least we had a part, a part in their development. Uh, and now he is the pastor. He is he's now a bishop. And I think that the, the young people around who are coming in the church now, then they have these present leaders as example. And in as much as um, times are different, things are different, but I believe that the Lord is still calling. I believe that God is still calling people into service for Him. And what our young people need to do is to heed the call and trust God because irrespective of what we may achieve in life. And I, I, I personally, and I know that Sister Graham is, is, is very, uh, even more so enthused about education and preparation. I think we need to prepare ourselves for life. But in life, there's got to be a heeding of, of, of the call from God. And um, those who are called in ministry will not get satisfaction in anything else. 
and, and, and the preparations that people are making today uh, for as far as education is concerned. I believe that like Paul, God is calling some to give full-time service to him. And those who are not so called, they should be faithful so that they, the, the financial rewards of those who would be willing to make the sacrifices will not be um, less than if they were out in the world of work. Um, when we went to Tubbs Road, yeah. things weren't very good financially with us and so on. However, I'm just going to say, <laughs> Sister Graham, Sister yeah. Graham, I, with, 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 with the amount of members and the amount of work to be done and so forth, I felt that I needed to really go full-time because in Birmingham, I had a full-time job. But Sister Graham, we talked it over, prayed about it, and she went to work. She used to work at nights. And um, I look after the children at nights, go to church when I, you know, sometimes take them. Uh, I must say that Olive, the Olive Wright, Sister Olive Wright, yeah. became a part of the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he was at work, she really looked after and was there for Gary and Karen. So she grew up, they grew up knowing, seeing her yeah. really as almost like a sister. Yeah. Um, but we, we worked right uh, almost throughout our time mm. until the church turned around. Mm. And believe you me, when we left Tubbs Road, I, I was able to get a full salary, full-time salary. Yeah. And it was, they, we, we could pay at that time two pastors full-time. Okay. When we, by the time we left, recognizing that when we got there, it wasn't. It was no, It wasn't that much. And what was what was coming in? Um, there was some uh, unfair distribution from the jet from the national office. The national office was really taking yeah. more than they ought to have taken. Yeah. But I didn't fuss, and the you know, but the brethren. The brethren, they really became good givers and um, tithing and so forth was really improved to the point where when we left in, after eight years, that church was really, really doing well, you know. Uh, and and um, it tells me that if you make the sacrifices and um, try and educate the people and the things of God, then they will respond and the Lord will make provisions. And that is, that has been our, our, our style throughout. We have been full-time in ministry f since that time. I started in 86. Yeah. And, uh, sorry, sorry, 68. I started 68. And that, since that time, the Lord has really helped us and blessed us. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I would be poor if I didn't know the Lord <laughs> and, and, and respond to his call. Yeah. Maybe we could be better off if we had gone into, we had continued their yes. uh, professional uh, work, nursing, and she has changed professions uh, several times since. But, to God be the glory. Well, we, we're glad that the church has um, reached this point where you're now celebrating the 40th year at Tubbs Road. And um, we just wish for the church, the local church there, the pastors, ministers, and members, and everyone, God's blessings and continued success. We pray that uh, God's favor will be with you and that many, many more people around the area will come to know the Lord Jesus and get prepared to meet him when he comes. God bless you. It was good to have been at Top Show at those times that I was there. I learned a lot from the people who were there, met some young people. Who, I must say, I sort of grew up with them. Holly and Nomlet, who is now Nomlet Aldrin, and others. They were really like my own children. 
And I'm pleased to see how they have remained with the Lord, how they have developed. And it will be good if those who are there now, they might not know them, but I'm sure they know that they know Ali, Ali is there. <laughs>